So going along with the what's in your truck, I thought, what's in and on my trailer? So let's start around. We got a six foot ladder, a small mirror for seeing to make sure that nothing is in your eye. Uh -huh. A little platform to sit my blower on. Put some of those nice driveway flakes on my tailgate to make it less slippery. 16 foot ladder. All right. My happy cone, because I found that a standard cone, everybody liked to run over it. This one with the smiley face, I don't have that problem. So we got a spare tire, a blower, a hedge trimmer, a pruner, a triangular hoe, a broom, a pole saw, a hedge trimmer with articulating head. A standard string trimmer, an edger, an open head 320. That actually was the replacement for my push mower because it doesn't get stuck in muddy grass. I can just put on the rubber boots. So I have a kneeling pad, a rake, a machete, a broom. Extension cord, a hand saw, a flat shovel, a spade, a 40 inch Toro, Toro grandstand because anything bigger than that didn't fit through most of the gates. Gas cans, simple cabinet, a vacuum for leaves and clippings. Tools, saws, you know, so I'm prepared for just in case. A little electrical tape. And partly because of the rules here, I make sure that my herbicide concentrate is in a locked cabinet because that's the rule. And the cabinet also locks because that's the rule. My bottle goes inside of a trailer that has doors on it and is lockable so that nobody can come in and drink the Kool-Aid. I even have a backup Schrader valve on there and an air pump in case that fails. But then you can see that I have extra string line funnel, extra chainsaw blades to go with the Steel 170, a hedge trimmer, a backpack blower, a couple of trash bags, herbicide, oil. In here is a battery powered grinder, an impact gun, extra parts, string to tie up extra branches, water to make sure that I don't run out, bug spray, suntan lotion, waterproof tape. A raincoat, safety hard hat and shield, chaps, a hose. Up here I actually have a strap that I can use with the come along in my truck to jack up the mower in case I have to replace the blade. And I have in here extra blades already sharp and a jack stand so that I don't drop them over on my head just in case. A little trash can, rubber boots, blades, oh, not blades, silly me, belts, and a light which I can plug into the power supply air compressor if I need to for some reason that I'm working when it's dark or storming. All right, hope you enjoyed it. This gives me enough to actually get by. I had a bigger trailer before, 
but it actually turned out that it was kind of an inconvenience unless you're running like four or five guys all at once you really don't need more than this to be able to function and I can also get in and out of most spots without blocking driveways which is a problem in a lot of the gated communities.